Hi everybody, this is Kathy. Welcome back to my channel, Kathy's Favorite Things, you guys. I am here today making some pokey tools. I did tell you that I had all the stuff to make it. And so I gave it a go and I made a few of them. And this is one of my favorite ones. This is pink. As you can see, I had some of the bubblegum beads from Hobby Lobby and I just love it. It's all white and pink. Uh, this is another one. This is also, this is just pink. And all, all these beads are from Hobby Lobby. Um, some of them are from Michaels. If you guys um, watch my Michaels haul, I did haul some beads from Michaels, like those hearts. Um, I believe those are from Michaels from a while ago. And then the big ones, the, the minty ones, those are from Hobby Lobby. But yeah, so it's a mix of uh, beads from Hobby Lobby and Michaels, you guys. If this, this is purple. I have friends that love purple, so I'm going to make a few purple ones. And but this one, I like this one. It's super colorful. This is all from beads from Michaels from my last haul. And it's just so super adorable. I love it. Love the fresh summery colors. Um, they're all going to be having some dangles hanging at the top. I will be adding dangles and I'm in the process of making those, but I will show you that in another video. This one is going to be specifically about the pokey tool. And I know you are tired of watching pokey tool videos because everybody's making them, but it's just so much fun. I usually don't do, you know, what everybody else is making. I try to you make you know make different stuff but these ones are so cute and I really wanted one for me and I didn't think nobody was gonna send me one so I decided to make my own and I had stuff in my stash so I just went ahead and did my own so I will be keeping some for myself I will gift some to my friends I will give some to my mom and you know this one is gold and white beautiful um did i show you this one i did oh i love that one i think i'm gonna be keeping that one uh so those are the ones that are already glued and i told you that i had some things in my stash i don't remember if it was um bb craft or kobe's or n beads one of those Last year I got some beads and I got some long needles, long. And there were like five or six in this baggie. Five or six, I believe. Not those ones, those needles in here at the bottom, I got those from AliExpress. But in this bag, and this is the number, the item number. Uh, those were from BB Craft or Co Beads, one of those. Um, so I had like six of them and when I first came up with, you know, the decision that I wanted to join into the wagon of making pokey tools, I started looking in my stash to see if I had something that I could use. And I found those big needles. And that's what I used to make like the first five of them that I made, like this five. I used that. But then when I realized that I could use them and I had them in my stash, you know, it's like a big needle. See, it has a hole in here. So I'm like, I like that idea. They, you know, they're pointy enough, like sharp enough to, to poke something out, but not really, really sharp that it's going to hurt me. So um, I measured them and I decided to go on Amazon to see if I could find some more because uh, if I buy it from Amazon, it's going to get to me faster than if I order from one of those websites like BB Craft or those websites. So I ordered this bag of needles from Amazon, you guys. And it says 56 inch. They are up upholstery needles, I think. Upholstery needles. So there are 50, it's a 50 pack in here. So 50 is quite a lot. 
and they are six inches so i thought that was great and that's what i did and now um you know this is super easy to do you just you know make sure you put the beads in the way that you want them there and just glue them with e6000 here you go and i got these little ones from michael's because i have run out of my big tube of e6000 but i decided that the little ones were super um you know better i think the size to work when you're gonna have to be adding the glue to a smaller space like this you know and again this is one of the needles and it's a six inch needle you guys that's what i'm using i you know a lot of other people are using some other things that they have found um but this is my choice because like i said at the beginning i had some from um a previous haul and i thought they were good so now what we're gonna do together is glue the beads in here and you'll see how fast this is and how easy. So I'll just do one and I'll let you go and then I'll show you another day all the pokey tools that I made and probably um, I'll show you the dangles that I attached to them also. I don't wanna make this video too long because this is nothing new. You know, everybody has been making this but I just wanted to you know just make one with you so you could see how easy this is so this again e6000 is just um a really good adhesive i'm just holding it here and i'm adding a little bit of e6000 on my needle and i'm just gonna make sure that it's covered all around it you know and do not go overboard and i apply too much because then gonna be messy and you're gonna have to be cleaning it out you know and you don't want it to be visible the glue coming out of the bead or whatever you know at least I don't want it because I like my projects to be neat and clean so that depends on what you want but yes see you just smear a bit of uh, the E6000 on your needle and that's it so we're gonna put the needle here. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys, allergy season, you know. So I'm just putting my needle in there. You see, that's it. Now, I think my, when I started making them, uh, my idea was to make sure that I put enough glue at the top for the first bead and because i think that's the most important one because you don't want your beads to be coming off you know when you start using your pokey tool so i added a little bit more there now my second need my second bead is going to be this orange bubblegum bead from hobby lobby again so i'm just putting that there there see right next to the other you can put some spacer beads in between if you want, like I did in some of them. You know, just do whatever makes you happy and that's it. There is no right or wrong. Again, like I said, in some cases, I decided to put some spacer bead or some tiny bead in between. But just, it depends on what the colors you're working with, you know, and what you wanna achieve. In like your design of your pokey tool, cause you know, there are so many colors you can use depending on the beads you have also so super easy and this i wanted to start making them also because i have so many beautiful beads you guys in my stash and that's why i've been using a lot of my beads also to make dangles because i have a big amount of beads you guys and I was not using them, so I'm loving this project with beads. So now they're not sitting in my stash, you know, and I know they're super pretty to look at, but I'm using them. I'm also joining um, Tassel Tuesday every Tuesday. So I've been using them for my tassels and again for the dangles and all of that. And I think it's super fun. The thing is that this uh, these beads are glued here with E6000, so 
if you get a pokey tool and if you want to take it apart because you want to use your beads for something else i don't know if they're gonna come off you know i don't know where's the hole here oh here it is so there you go so that's it that's the last one and now this needs to dry so you just need to put it on your table or your workspace and don't move it you know just let it dry for a few hours and they should be fine and uh, what i'm gonna do i want to add a tiny bit here and over here but just a tiny tiny bit you guys okay again don't go overboard because it's gonna be messy and i'm gonna add this rondelle here at the bottom just to finish it off you know just because i wanted to add that there and that's gonna be that pokey tool you know and now i'm gonna set it here and i'm gonna leave it there for a few hours and that's gonna have to dry and then i can add the dangle here at the top when that's done because you don't want to keep holding it too much because the beads are going to start sliding all over the place so you need to let that dry and when that's done then you can add your dangle at the top that's a, at least my approach that's the way that i will be doing it so yeah you guys i will show you uh, all of them when they are all done i will show you all the ones that i made this ones i also need to glue see i just uh, was playing with the beads and see the combination that I wanted. So it has a bubble gum beads. It has some of the new beads from Michaels over here. Like those ones are from my recent Michaels haul, but the big ones I had from Hobby Lobby, this one also from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, you guys, I have to glue that one. And this one also, I think it's pretty, look. It's a white and light blue and it has that iridescent white from michael's also i think it's so beautiful this one it's more delicate you know the beads are not too big but i still like it i think it's very pretty and then with the dangle that i'm gonna attach here at the top it's gonna look even prettier so yeah so i'm super happy with the result i just wanted to show you one so you could see how easy it is to put together and i will be back with another video when i'm done with all of them okay you guys so i hope you are having a great day let me move them down because you cannot see and they're just so pretty i want you to take another look at them so yeah i hope you decide to uh, start making your own pokey tools because it's an amazing way to use your bead stash and to send a little gift to a crafty friend right and i even have some like halloween beads some candy corns from last year and stuff like that so i will be making this also for like holidays for like christmas and stuff like that it's just so cool i love it you guys so yeah and you have seen my dangle tutorial that i made recently I'm gonna link it below in case you need to see how to make dangles. But I have a few um, different color dangles here that I have been making. Like I said, I've been using my stash of beads. I want you, I need to make some Christmas ones, so that's why I have these charms. But I have made all sorts of dangles. I have tiny ones, I have long ones with gummy bears you guys i have so many different ones i have more like pastel -y, like with pearls these are so beautiful look at those colors this is pink and i have so many you guys i've made some with the stars and with hearts all sorts of sizes so yeah it's super fun you guys i've been having so much fun and it's so relaxing too because i'm like sitting watching a movie or something and i'm just putting together dangles see this one's the sun so yeah have some more here 
So I have been using up my bead stash, you guys. So you will be seeing more bead um, projects using beads in the future because I have a lot. Okay, you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're having a great day. Remember, I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.